it's Ryan Kim back with another video. If you are new to our channel, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, we hope that you enjoy it. Make sure you like and comment and subscribe. And if you are a regular, thanks for coming back. So today we have a Lion King review for you all because as everybody knows, that was like the movie of the summer. Everybody was hyped to see it, you know, it was like trending everywhere. We agreed upon this. Nobody has ever said they don't like Lion King. Now people yeah. have probably said, oh, I've never seen it. But nobody has ever said, I don't like Man, Lion King. I it's heard the nobody. worst movie. Like, yeah. I've never heard that. Y'all really... never heard somebody kill him. So I don't know like if there are people out there who really don't like Lion King, but from what I know, it's a worldwide favorite. Like, everybody loves Lion mm -hmm. King. Yeah. You really can't go wrong now, with Now, when it comes to Mulan and... Okay, don't oh. talk about Mulan. I was like, okay, they can't go wrong with this live action because they know, just like we know, that it's everybody's favorite. So they can't go wrong. But they did. So did you like the, the, the live action Lion King movie? Overall, yes, it was, it was decent. It was decent. So I liked it. Did All I right. love it? No. No, I didn't. Okay. If you, if you could rate it on a 1 to 10 scale, what would you give it? I'd give it a good 5. 5? Yep. All right. And uh, without spoiling anything, like what would you say you liked about it the most? Um, I loved the singing. I loved the singing because the um, actors and actresses that were doing the voice acting and um, doing the soundtrack, they had wonderful voices. So I think they really came through. So what I liked the most was the singing. And then what would you say you like um, the least about it? Um, the acting. <laughs> the acting was very mediocre. Um, and I feel as though they did not get into character enough. All right, now let me ask you these questions. <laughs> Go so, ahead. Ryan. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Um, overall, did you like the movie? Overall, um, it, mm, it was good. It was overall, I, overall, I would say I liked it, but you know, I didn't love it. On a scale of one to 10, what would you rate it? I would say six. And what would you say was your favorite part of the movie? Without spoiling anything, to be honest, the whole like liveness. Um, so the realness of the yeah, movie? Yeah, the really, yeah, how good it looked. Like the movie was like beautiful. It looked, you know, good. Yeah, they did a good job. Yeah, yeah so like, the, yeah, everything looked real and you know, it was. It was very beautiful, the scenery. Yeah. Um, the animals, yeah, they did. Yeah. Without spoiling anything, what would you say was your least? My part? least would be the same as you with that, the acting. Mm -hmm. Like, the, it was just the voices, like, like, the voices was just not there. It, it seemed like they was just talking, like, they wasn't, yeah. like, really into character, you know? And so now, now we're going to spoil it. Yeah. We're going to go into detail. So spoiler boom. alert! Spoiler yeah. alert! Spoiler <laughs> alert! Click off! We're going to go into, like, our thoughts on each main character and what we thought um, about them and what we liked and disliked about them. So first is the king, Mufasa, all right? I think the voice of Mufasa was really good. I don't know if you knew this, but the person who played Mufasa in the original movie was... Is the same guy? Yeah. yeah. What is this, 10 years, 20 years later? Yeah. He still got it. I'm proud of but him. Yeah. I didn't know that, though. Yeah. But yeah. So he, he did great. He did a good job, but I mean, you could tell if you watched the original, if you like watch the live action, you could tell his voice... I mean, of course, in the in the cartoon version, he was a lot younger, so you know his voice was probably able to you know talk you know more deep and you know whatnot. But since he's older now, you know his voice might not be able to have that potential. Next will be Scar, our favorite. Womp, womp, <laughs> I think that they did a good job at making him still look scary and like mm -hmm. dirty and like yeah. mm, you know nasty or whatever. I think they did a good job at that. His voice was not up to par. It's not. I recall Scar having a raspy, like, evil tone. Um, and this guy just sounded like he was talking. He low-key sounded more like how Mufasa, Mufasa, Mufasa? <laughs> I don't know why I just said it three times. <laughs> he sounded more like what Mufasa sounded like. Sounded like. like, he didn't sound, um, he just sounded like a regular lion. Like, he didn't sound like the evil one. He didn't yeah. really sound, like, scary and, like plot and he just sounded like a regular brother mm. so the next character is Simba um Simba as a child I think was pretty good his singing voice was good his acting um voice was good he sounded like the Simba from the cartoon so I thought he did a good job Simba you you weren't here but live action movie come on let's be honest you sound too much like a kid I mean I know you're I know you're supposed to be a kid but like in the like in the in the cartoon 
person. This one, he sound he sounds like uh he used to sound like a puny little boy who who, who He was. Simba was he couldn't roar, he couldn't do nothing. Simba was a little weak link. Yeah, but I just feel like his voice was like just a little bit too like it sounded like left. Let me give you an example. In the cartoon version of Simba when he was a kid, it sounded like the person who voiced him was probably like around like 12, 13. In the live action movie, it sounded like the kid was like seven or eight. Simba as an adult, I think Donald Glover did a good job. Sometimes I felt like he sounded a little weird, but the singing and all of that, I mean, he did a good job. Yeah, I agree. Simba as an adult was cool. I have no complaints with that. Next up is Nala. So Nala as a kid. Can you feel the love tonight? So Nala as a kid, I thought that she was pretty good. I mean, she didn't really have that many parts other than yeah, I can't did. wait to be king and the mm -hmm. elephant graveyard. But I mean, she did a good job on the parts that she did have. The kid Nala, she did good. I have no complaints. And then the adult Nala, Beyonce. So some of y'all gonna hate me for this, but personally, I think Beyonce just should have just stuck to uh, the soundtrack and the album and the singing. I think that's completely her. When I say she killed it, she killed it. Now, the acting, I felt like it was just too Beyonce. I don't know if it's because Beyonce's voice is just so unique that it felt too Beyonce-ish. I don't know, but she just sounded too Beyonce-ish. Like, it wasn't not what. I agree. Um, I feel like they made a mistake. They, they couldn't find a bigger name than Beyonce. I too. think they just did it because anything that got Beyonce's name on it, people can go see it. I mean, that's just that simple. I saw Beyonce, I was like, oh yeah, I'm definitely going. Then I heard her sing on the trailer. I said, oh, I really want to go now just because she sounds so beautiful. I don't think she was right for now. Yeah, me either. Next is Sarabi, which is- The hyena. It's the mother of yeah, Simba. Simba. <laughs> I think that she did a good job. Yeah, I agree. I liked her. Now our lovely hyena. Whack, okay, yeah, because right. listen, the first hyenas... of all, <laughs> okay, go ahead because we both really okay. want to go in. First, first of all, like they didn't give, I don't, I don't even think they gave like the hyenas names, you know, in the in the cartoon, they got like three main hyenas. Um, like it's one girl and two boys, and like one of the boys' name is Ed, and he acts stupid. Yeah. They kind of like, I mean, Ed is in there, you could tell because you know, there's one hyena who kind of acts. I mean, I want to say stupid. Not stupid, but he's just like annoying. Yeah. The annoying little brother. Mm -hmm. So you could tell that was Ed, but I mean, I think they executed it poorly because I, I I feel like they tried to make him too funny. And this one, they weren't three of them. It was two of them. And the girl, she was like the lead hyena. Yeah. And I get, okay, the movie shouldn't be exactly the same, but like when it comes to roles like that, like those were important. Like everybody knows they're like the three stooges, you know, mm -hmm. it's them three. Like when it first started, I was like, who is this lead hyena? Like who she thinks she is? Yeah, they, like who is this girl? And then like later he was like, that was the girl hyena from, you know, the original movie. And I'm like, wow. Yeah. So I didn't like that. And because of that, they, they also changed some stuff um, in the movie, like her and, um, Nyla, the adult Nyla, they oh, had, yeah, they yeah, had like they had their a, own little, like, fighting yeah, scene. Yeah, they, they had some beef or whatever. And she, the hyena was like, I was waiting a long time, time for, for this. this. Yeah, so. Which was know, not in the cartoon. That. Yeah. Of course. Next is our beloved Rafiki. In the other movie, like, my favorite part was when, you know, Simba was alone um, and looking at the stars and stuff like that. And Rafiki found him and, like, hit him in the head mm -hmm. with the stick or whatever. In that part, he taught him, like, a, a lesson, you know, he was saying, like, what's in the past? is in the past and things of that nature. Which he did not say in the Yeah, movie. like he really didn't, didn't have like a part that. in the movie. Yeah. Like he didn't have a, other than raising Simba up and yeah. then, you know, being in his little tree. That was about yeah. it. Like he didn't, he didn't have, yeah. play a significant role. And it's like Rafiki is like, that's our dude. Like that's our wisdom right there mm -hmm. of the whole movie. In the live action movie, Rafiki, he didn't have his little staff, his little stick yeah, until, until the, the, very end. the very end. I was like, um, excuse me. Honestly, I thought they just weren't gonna put it in there. I was like, yeah, I this they kid don't exist there, anymore. Yeah. I just thought that he, he should have had a better, um, a bigger role. A bigger role. Yeah. yeah. Next, last but not least, is Timon and Pumbaa. If you ask me. Pumbaa looked sick. He looked like a disgusting animal yeah. that nobody looked, wants to be around. Yeah, he looked dirty. I mean, I, I get it. That's nasty. probably what the what they look like in real life. Yeah, that is what they look like in real life. But, but this is not 
this ain't that. Like, y'all could have yeah. made him look a little better. Like, he looked like some disease-infested animal. Like, yeah. it was disgusting. I said, uh, Pumba look a little suspect. <laughs> and Timon, well, Timon looks like how he's supposed to look. Mm -hmm. um, like a mere cat, I mean. Yeah, like a mere cat. <laughs> <laughs> Our main thing was they didn't sound like them. Oh, yeah. They didn't they really did. sound like them. Like, they sounded like whoever the dudes were, they sound like those dudes. Like, they didn't sound mm -hmm. like Timon and Pumba. Pumba, he has this, he sound like a fat boy. And in this one, I don't think Pumba really sounded like a fat kid. Like, I don't know. It was just kind of off, and they weren't that funny to yeah. me. Like, I mean, I mean, to be honest, to be fair, though, like, all the parts that did laugh in the movie, it was from them. In the cartoon, when um, they was found off the hyenas, um, when they was doing the disguise, you know, yeah. Pumba was gonna look like a and pig and have an it. apple. And I was hoping they would still do that, but they didn't. I was hoping they would at least, like, sing the song. But they did the uh, Be My Guest from, what is that, Beauty and the Beast? I said, mm, I don't really like that. So mm -hmm. overall, I mean, the movie was, it was decent. It was um, beautifully done. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of hard work went into it, so they did a good job at that. It just didn't live up to my standards. And um, I think it was more so made for our generation. Yeah. And not for the kids to mm -hmm. come. I feel like what they should have done on like what, she, what they should do next maybe is like take the original cartoon and like reanimate it. I know for... You know, my kids, I'm going to stick to the original. When Me they too. get older, they can Me go too. find... Me too. Our like, kids. Our kids. Don't say my kids. Our kids. They can stick to the original, and when they get older, they can go venture out to the live action. And personally, the live action was a one-time watch. Like, I don't know yeah, uh, yeah. again. Me either. <laughs> like, I mean, to be fair... Yeah, I'm not watching them more. Never mind. It's not to be fair. I'm not watching it again. Yeah. I probably... listen to the soundtrack all day, though. And the music yeah. that came from yeah, it. Yeah, the soundtrack was good. So that is our review on the Lion King. If you guys have seen it, please comment below. And tell us thoughts. what you think. Yeah. Yeah, and if you liked it, if you agree with some of the things we said, or all the things we said, or even none of the things we said. And if you haven't watched it, go at your own risk. Oh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video, guys. We hope that you enjoyed it. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't. Turn on our notifications so you'll know when we post again. <laughs> all right, guys. So we'll be back with another video next time. And we'll see ya later. Ah!